called in a truck. I'm back. Rodrance on The Mandalorian. Okay, one of the things that I suspected might happen was going to be a lot of the people in our community was going to like this show. And in turn, people that loved The Last Jedi in that community, and I'm not saying there's not Last Jedi lovers in this community, but we know the kind of folks I'm talking about were, was going to hate The Mandalorian. In other words, I can't wait to see what eventually the Mary Sue says about it, right? Um, but one of our favorite shields, Scott Mendel douche, uh, Scott Mendelson at Forbes Magazine has come out and delivered his Last Jedi kind of Mandalorian hate. He didn't like the show. Of course he didn't. Of course he didn't like the show. All right. And I'm not going to go into the critique. All right. Really? He just, uh, he said that uh, it presented itself as a staged play. Said that the show was not cinematic quality. He didn't even feel that the show was TV quality. Right. All right, and uh, he had nothing good to say about the reveal. Um, he compared the last 10 minutes to a Wild West shootout. I'm not really sure why that's a problem. Okay. Um, he came across very... The, the show was beneath him as a critic. It's, it's kind of what I gathered. When, when a cinematic reviewer comes out and, and says it's not even TV quality. It's He said a lot of it was like a stage rehearsal. And by the way, he loves The Last Jedi. Why? Because of course he does. I foresaw this. I, I suspect a lot of us did, okay? Especially if members of the fandom menace ended up liking the Mandalorian and it was by and large accepted by folks. By the way, the critic score is steadily dropping on the Mandalorian. The audience score is really good. Uh, it's got an 87% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a 94% audience score, which is really, in my opinion, the only score that matters, right? Uh, because critics like Scott Mendel douche, uh, that's the problem is guess what? The first episode of the show showed no agenda. There was no social statements to be made by the show. Good God. The show was mainly predominantly all male in the first episode. Heaven forbid that. It's amazing. It's amazing that these critics feel like you can tell they believe they are smarter consumers of entertainment than the audience. It, it's, it's troubling, but it's expected. It's the mainstream media. Um, Look, The Last Jedi is one of the worst pieces of entertainment I've ever seen. And it's got a 91% among critics. You know, I mean, it is literally... There are C-level horror movies that are better movies than The Last Jedi. That are better made than The Last Jedi. As far as a coherent story goes, from beginning to end... And something actually significantly moving along and characters progressing. I've seen shitty horror movies while I ran my website that did a better job than a fucking $300 million Star Wars film. And The Mandalorian, well, it crushed that in 37 minutes. 
obliterated it. The Last Jedi is pawn scum on the entertainment totem pole compared to the Mandalorian up here. But I saw this coming from the lovers of The Last Jedi. They were going to have their issues with the Mandalorian. And so it has begun. It is what it is.